So today's video is gonna be why I do not like, I don't know how to pronounce it, it's the M-E-I-K-E, -E, the Mikey hand grip or battery grip for the Sony a7 IV. I do wanna say, obviously, this is just my opinion. Okay, so let's just go ahead and get into some of the points that I wanna to touch on in this video and why I just don't think it's a good battery grip in terms of usability. The first thing I wanna to touch on is the joystick. So the joystick on the Mikey does not have any type of clickiness to it. And when I say clickiness, I don't mean, mean like an audible click. That's actually not what I'm referring to. I'm referring to like the tactical feedback that you get when you move the joystick. You can feel that you're clicking it to the left or the right, up and down. On the Mikey hand grip, you don't have any of that. You don't really know if you're far enough left until you see like the focus points moving. And what I notice most of the time is when I go to the left or if I go to the right, sometimes the focus point moves up because I'm kind of a little bit of an angle on the joystick. Or you know, if I move to the left, it goes down. If I go down, it goes to the left. You get the point. I am getting used to the joystick a little bit more as I'm using it, but I still, I don't like it at all. I want to feel that I'm moving to the left or I'm moving to the right. With the M Copulus battery grip, you do have that tactical feel to it. Also, it is kind of loud and clicky, which is something I did not like on this. But anyways, at least you're feeling when you're moving the joystick to the left or right, bottom up, down. And you also do have that tactical-like feedback on the newer battery grip as well. So that's one thing that I really hated about this battery grip when I bought it. And to be honest, I still hate it today. That's the first thing I wanted to touch on. The biggest thing, well, I'm not sure if I hate this more or the joystick more, but this front dial or the, well, front dial, the only dial on the battery grip. This is such a poor design. I just can't even stress this enough. Here's the problem. <laughs> The dial sits just about flush with the rubber itself on the hand grip. So what happens is, especially in the wintertime when you have gloves on, you have to push down really hard on the dial to be able to turn it because what's happening is, is your finger with the gloves on is also hitting the rubber on the battery grip itself on the body. The newer does not have that problem. The dial sticks out just far enough from the battery grip body itself and the same thing with the M Oculus battery grip. And to be honest, I think this one sticks out even further than, than the newer one. But that is one thing that drives me crazy when I'm shooting like this and I go to use this. Cause when you have gloves on in the winter, obviously, you know, you can't feel that well. It is just an awful, awful design. Yeah, I just hate it, hate it, hate it. That's the second thing that I do not like about this battery grip. Now let's talk about two other things, battery drainage issues. So this Mikey battery grip, I did some research online because one day I turned on my camera and I noticed after like 60 seconds, the screen was like, you know, battery dead, it just went black. That night I did not charge my batteries, but I know for a fact they weren't empty. And both of the batteries were completely drained and did some research and I found that some other people also complained about the battery drainage problem with this this battery grip. So I have experienced it firsthand. And if you watched the video where I spent nine hours by a river, it was extremely cold that day, very cold. It, at the high, it was probably only 18 degrees Fahrenheit. But I noticed the batteries were draining really, really fast on the A7 IV and I was like, why are these batteries going down this quick? So I adjusted the monitor brightness back here, uh, hoping that would help. But I just, I, for, for some reason, I was like, this is just draining really, really fast. But the camera was still relatively new to me at that time. It is still kind of new to me even now. And I guess the only way to prevent from what I've read, and they said you have to turn the switch on the battery grip itself to the off position and that'll prevent the batteries from draining. I never had that problem ever with this M Oculus battery grip or with the newer grip when I did use it. So yeah, the battery drainage issue is real. I did experience it. I haven't had any issues since that time, but it did happen to me. Okay, so the last issue is with your settings not saving when you turn the camera off. I experienced this and when I did, I was able to replicate it twice and after I replicated it the second time, I took my cell phone out and I wasn't able to replicate it any other time, although I haven't tried since then, to be honest. So what happens with the camera is, let's say if you change like the aperture, the ISO or, or whatever, shutter speed, and then if you turn the camera off and you turn the camera back on after like, I think I tested it, it was like 30 seconds or 
or something, those settings did not remain on the camera when you turned it back on. It went back to the default settings that I have for photo on number one on the mode dial. And so I turned the camera back off. Before I turned the camera back off, I made some more adjustments, turned it off, turned it on again, and those adjustments I made did not save. I went online, did some research on DP Review. I think so, even a few reviews on Amazon talked about this. And so it is a known issue with this battery grip. I don't know what the deal is. It, has it happened to me again out in the field? I don't know, to be quite honest, because I never turn my camera off when I'm actually out in the field. I just let it go to sleep. But yeah, it definitely happened to me. I was able to replicate that twice. It's just, you know, that stuff really shouldn't be happening. It never happened to me with either the newer or the Immoculus grip. One other thing, yes, I forgot to touch on this. Good thing I made notes. The shutter button up here. I don't know if anyone else has experienced this, but every once in a while I notice like, I'll hold this down halfway and then I'll fully click on it to take a photo and it doesn't take a photo. Look, I'm not sure if I have a faulty battery grip. I don't know. It just, it just doesn't work well, right? I mean, sometimes I find I have to like click it twice before it takes a photo. Again, I've never had any of these issues with these other two battery grips for Sony. You're probably wondering, well, why do I keep it? Why do I continue to use it? I'm gonna tell you why. The body sits the flushest out of all the camera grips that I've tried to the A7 IV body. I don't know if that just made sense. I did buy the M Oculus, M Copolis battery grip for the Sony A7 IV. That one fit the worst, the fitting on the bottom. Where the battery grip edges up, hit the bottom of the camera. And so there was a really relatively large gap between the camera body itself and the battery grip. I didn't keep that. I bought the Velo grip from B&H that had the same thing. It wasn't molded well and didn't fit the bottom of the camera very well, so I returned that to B&H. So yeah, I mean, that's the video in a nutshell. Um, I don't like the battery grip at all. I would not recommend buying it, but you know, it's up to you. And again, these are my personal views. Someone else might not have any issues with this front dial. It's just not a good user experience. And it's, in my opinion, it's just, uh, yeah, it's not, just not designed well. So those are my thoughts, my opinions on the Mikey battery grip and why I would not buy it again. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Hopefully this helped you out if you're looking for a battery grip for the a7 IV or even the a7 III. If you do need a battery grip for the a7 III, this newer one is brand new. I'll be more than happy to sell to someone if you want it. It's, again, it's for the a7 III. The reason why I have a brand new grip, newer grip that's never been used is because I had this grip initially. There was an issue with it. I reached out to newer. I didn't hear from them for like over two weeks. So I just went ahead and bought a new grip. And that's when I bought this M Copolis battery grip for the a7 III. And then like a week later, newer reached out to me. I sent them a video. They sent me a new hand grip and it's just been sitting in the box ever since. So if any one of you out there are in need of a Sony a7 III or it'll fit the a7R3 or a9 battery grip, just shoot me an email online or my website or Instagram, Facebook, whatever, and I'll be happy to, uh, to sell it to you. Just gotta pay for shipping. So that's it, that's the whole video. Again, any questions, comments, leave them down below. Hope this helps. See you guys in the next video.